I'm getting ready for a spin. It's low tide, about uh, an hour and a half, I guess I'll head at. Tide's low at four. It's only like 12 something now. I had to pick up some knives this morning, so I don't know what the treasure is going to be like, but I know the knives are going to be good. I got 18 knives from one lady. I got three nice Victor Knox knives. And I got 15 knives. Let's put it that way. Poured on blue and KitchenAid, etc. We do have two heckles in here, three heckles. And then we got, I think this is a, this is a Henkel International. But you can see she's in kind of bad condition. As a lot of knives are from time to time. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm taking my Excal today. I put it back on my Anderson carbon fiber shaft. Straight. I can just carry that with me when I go with gig and use it. My Excal didn't work just right the last time I used it in the water. Gig uh, made a comment about it when he used it. And when it goes underwater, it's really chatty a lot of times. I changed the sensitivity, I changed the threshold, and it, it just didn't perform correctly. But above the water, it works fine. It's just when it's submerged. Uh, a couple people said it could be water getting in around the battery. It could be the headphones, which plugged in here. I'm going to test it out some today. See if I can get it to duplicate that sound. I don't know. I got my uh, CTX in the back, though, just in case. All right, I'm not going diving, but I am going to go underwater. You know, up to my neck anyway. We'll see how it goes. Matter City. We haven't been here in about a month. Three weeks anyway. Let's see what we find here. A lot of gray matter, maybe. I know one thing is blazing hot. The guru said he's coming, and Eddie's coming. Low tide Tim might come. I think the big guy, he's east, I mean, he's west of us a ways. I don't know. We're almost there. Fuggers are screeching loud one. We got it on the first scoop, though. Damn. You ain't gonna believe it. It's like a dime. Look at that. I don't think it's silver, but it sure looks like it. I think it's just tan discoloration. Looks like it's clad on the end of me. Okay. Scow nickel sound. I don't know why it's a penny, but it is. <laughs> Penny, sound like a nickel. Unbelievable. I can tell you the water's really clear. Look how clear it is. Be a good day for a dive. The gig, uh, the gig may show up here, but I think he's going to the land or not. That's what it sounded like anyway. He's probably got the mumbles from yesterday. Bad. I would be. See low tide tip coming over the hill. Oh, that's really nice right there. That's what I was looking for. Black taquito. Just got here. Which way did you go? I put in right there and made two passes from here to there. Okay. I got a dime and a big piece of a bottom of a can or something. Okay. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really clear too. I mean, nice. Couldn't draw it on paper being any better. Well, I'll head down that way then. I think about doing the same thing. I'm going to make about, you know, I might go eight or ten more passes this way. Then I'm going to go that way. Four ounces of gray matter. First gray matter. Excel is, wor Excal is working flawlessly right now. Perfect. Like it's supposed to. Excal sound to die for. That low grunt. Like you hear it. I can hear it rattling. I don't see uh, 
Maybe I do see it. Come out of there, you piece of crap, you. Look at that. Ah. Another nice ex cow sound, but it's deep. My favorite sound. But, but you can see there's a few targets. I'm, I'm just about cross feet. You know, just just under my tits. Modern something this is. It's modern, all right. New age piece of crap is what it is. I seen him slipping up from the west, the guru. He's on a bar right now. <laughs> That's my best find. I got the I got the bottoms of two of them. That was in the deepest hole. Yeah. I was up to here. <laughs> this is about as close as we can get. How you making out? One dime. Huh? I got two dimes and three pennies with one sinker and a and a new age ring. But way out here deep, nothing any close. Everything I find is nipple deep. Yeah. Down here, nice big cow down. I'm headed back. I see the guru coming back. He's been down by the bridge. I've been the other way. I got some pull tabs. I got some coins. Just that one new age ring. I don't know how him and Tim made out down there by the bridge, but I guess I'll get a report in a few minutes. Stand by. Hell no, I ain't going. I'm looking for treasure like you are. You got any treasure to show me? How about Tim? He do any good? Huh? Tim do any good? I don't know. I didn't talk to him. Oh. He took off. That was him maybe just a moment ago. Excal sound. Like all them pull tabs I got today. Oh, this is even better. My favorite ticket. Almost like the first one I dug this morning. Isn't that nice?
Roundup. That's a big light bulb in right there, buddy. That'd be the biggest one I ever found. One nickel, six, five dimes, one quarter, several nice pennies, three tabs, two caps, three gray matters, and a new age says uh, modern gents inside. Nothing else. It's cool. It's really pretty. It fits my finger absolutely perfectly. The ring for the summer. Okay, I'm not sure about tomorrow. I got. Uh, I've been working on some knives now. It's like uh, seven seven fifteen right now. I've been working on those knives that I picked up. Some are in bad shape. I got them all pretty much all straight and kind of pretty sharp. And some of them. I knock those out in the morning. Take them back because I don't. You know, time's not loaded. Like. 4.30 or 5 tomorrow, so I got all day to knock around if I want to. I haven't talked to the gig. I think he might have went, like I said, to the land of gray matter. Uh, Guru said he didn't do much. Timmy said he didn't do much, but as uh, we passed and he was headed east and I was headed west, he picked up a little small gold ring. I, I mean, looks like an antique ring. It's a nice little ring. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll add the picture here to the back so you can see it. So it was gold in gray matter city today. That's good. And New Age, what a fine ticket that is. It's pretty though, that's the way it is. Poor guy, probably lost, broke his heart. You think so? Yeah, right. Okay, I'll see you. The is fixing for supper since a hard day of metal detecting and knife sharpening. Oh, it's a nice salad though, in that bowl. Something's hiding in here, I suspect. See what it is. Oh! Chicken and shop. What do you call those things? Shallots? Leeks. leeks. Chicken and leeks. Mmm. Dietary food. Big old Jack, you waiting for some chicken? Jack went to the doctor today. He got him some hip medicine. He's getting old. He, he can't stand up very long. He has to sit down. But he loves to play ball. We played ball for 10 minutes. Then he came in the house. He said, I'm tired. I'm tired, Daddy. My big old jet. My big, big old jet. Come on, Indian. Come on in here. Come on. Come on. Come on, little scaredy Indian. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're the scaredest little Indian I've ever seen. Let me see big old jet. Where's mean ass at? This is hiding. Oh, he's not hiding. Love seat. Taking it easy. Baby scooter. You sitting on a hassock. Taking it easy. Yeah. Where's your mama buddy at? Is he upstairs? Big old Jack. What do you think of these cats? They don't like them that. Eat all the food. There's a little Indian. Hey, little Indian. Come here. Come here, you little scaredy Indian. Rice, too. Rice with those leeks. Big ol' Jack, I know you want some rice. There's a scaredy Indian. When chicken shows up, the scaredy Indian shows up. I ain't scared of that chicken. No, I'm not. I eat chicken. I like it. It's a favorite thing. Chicken and steak and pork chops. I like pork chops better than the bones. And the pork chops, they're the wonderful. I'm scared of the cat. Baby carnivore, you want chicken too? Yes, sir, I want some chicken. Chicken, yard bird, yard bird, Tucky. Give me some. Well, you new YouTubers, that is Catmandu. Catmandu is a wild feral cat that lives with us. If you went back about eight or nine years in the videos, you see where we captured him. He lived in an abandoned gas station when Chris was working. She sought to feed him, decided she wanted to bring him home. You can't pick him up or anything, but you can scratch him on his head sometimes. And he will eat a piece of chicken out of your finger like that. But that's about as far as it goes. But he does sleep on the bed with us a lot. 
and gets along with the dogs to a degree. They don't mess with him, of course. He's solid black and big as two dogs. Air condition, heat, you got it made. Cat man do.